While nearly 30 million Americans with diabetes live daily with the reality of the disease, the American Diabetes Association established American Diabetes Month to focus the nation's attention on the seriousness of diabetes and the people impacted by this disease. Well, diabetes has become an epidemic in the last 20 or 30 years, and Diabetes Month is meant to bring to the attention of the public how important this is as a public health problem. It encourages people to get screening for their diabetes and, of course, to talk with their health care providers so that they get optimal management. The American Diabetes Association reported that as many as one in three American adults will have diabetes by the year 2050 unless we take steps to stop diabetes. The medical community continues to work to address this growing epidemic. In fact, there are 12 classes of diabetes medications spanning literally hundreds of treatments for diabetes and its myriad of complications available by prescription in America. And there are dozens more drugs in various stages of testing. But with so many treatments available come the challenges of figuring out which medication or combination of medications works the best. We have a large number of treatments available now, and those have become available really mostly in the last decade. Uh, each one of these drugs has specific advantages and disadvantages. Uh, they have different cost in terms of both cost to the individual as well as to society. And we're trying to determine in the setting of this epidemic, which one really will serve us best over time. The GRADE study, which is sponsored by the National Institutes of Health, is the first study that hopes to answer that very question. One of the challenges that we've faced uh, for many years now is with this increase in diabetes nationwide and worldwide, with more than 350 million people in the world with diabetes, is that we really don't have good data to help us select one medication versus another. It's really pretty much by chance which ones we select. So the GRADE study, I think, will provide very much needed information with regard to which medications would be best. The GRADE study is enrolling 5,000 people with type 2 diabetes in medical centers all over the United States. And to date, more than 1,000 have joined to help doctors make the best decisions for the treatment of this life-threatening disease. The GRADE study is focusing not only on the level of blood sugar control that we achieve with the medications, but we're also looking at side effects. Which ones are most acceptable to individuals? Which ones lower the risk for heart disease? or lower the risk for the eye, kidney, and nerve disease that also commonly accompany diabetes. So at the end of grade, we hope that we will have a really comprehensive understanding of what these medications do, um, including how patients tolerate and accept them. It is not by chance that November is American Diabetes Month. People with diabetes have a difficult time managing their disease during the holidays. The holidays are, of course, a great time for uh, enjoying family, enjoying meals, uh, stuffing yourself with stuffing, uh, especially around Thanksgiving. Uh, most people can enjoy that without a penalty, but people with diabetes need to be cautious because having a lot of carbohydrate, like stuffing, having particularly big meals can drive up people's blood sugar level. If you are on a medication that can be adjusted, like insulin, uh, some of the pills get adjusted, you may need to do more monitoring of your blood sugar and may need to adjust your medication around the holidays. When the holidays are over and you go back to usual eating, of course, you go back to your usual doses. Everyone should be allowed, of course, to enjoy themselves in the holidays. It's just that with diabetes, there can be a penalty uh, to doing so. The GRADE study is still seeking volunteers. Anyone interested in learning more about the GRADE study can visit gradestudy.com to search for a GRADE medical center in their area. With national efforts like American Diabetes Month and research like the GRADE study, now more than ever, people with diabetes can learn more about their disease, how their lifestyle choices impact their blood sugar, and what medications can be the most effective treatments.